All right, everybody. Today, what we're going to do is we're out here with the breeze. Is we're going to try to hit the geo fence. Now I got thirteen satellites. Now the geo fence on this thing is like three hundred and forty feet. Okay, Jay Drone did this a few times, and every time he did it, it would crash. And now he's an experienced guy, you know, it's not like he doesn't know what he's doing. He knows exactly what he's doing. It's not his fault, it was the fault of the quadcopter. So we're going to try to see what it does for me by doing that. To see if it crashes or does any of that kind of stuff. So we'll see. It's not supposed to do that. What it's supposed to do is come back to where it took off. That's what it's supposed to do. Let me get it set to where I can make the whole... 340 feet here without running into anything. Okay, we'll go up to 50 feet. That'll be good. I'm at 300 now. Oh, I'm losing the transmission. I'm at 322. Nope, won't go. I hit the geo fence. You see it there. Okay, so I hit 330 feet. That's as far as I could get. But of course, it's not coming back. I'm just bringing it back myself. Okay, so we know that for some reason Jay's, because I watched his videos on it and I remember reading about this. And it's saying that whenever it hit the geo fence, it was supposed to return to home. I remember reading that on multiple occasions. But he would go out to that field that he goes, that kind of big empty lot, and he would fly it out there, and whenever it would hit the geo fence, it would go sideways and go into the weeds. So I didn't never could figure out what the heck was that. Um, I don't know if he had a compass uh, issue or whatever, but you see what it did with me. It just stood there. It just, it just said, cannot proceed any further. So I got it out to 300 and I think it was 340, which is what it says in the, in the manual. I got 14 satellites now. I only got 33% battery left. My batteries are starting to go on this thing, so my days of fun with the breeze are limited until I can get some new batteries, but I'm not paying the full price for them. If I see them on sale somewhere, I'll pick some up, but Anyway, so I just wanted to hit the geofence just to see what would happen with mine when I did it. So I'm going to cut the video. At least I can save the video, right?
All right, guys. That was it. The geofence test with the breeze. It passed the test. It just didn't do the return to home like I thought it was going to. But hey, it just stopping is good enough for me. Okay, that's as long as it didn't fly off in the weeds like it did on 4J, then uh, I think everything was good. So it just made it out to the 340 and stopped. So that's what it does for mine. All right, guys, have a nice day. I'll talk to you later.